What's up, you freaking geniuses? So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to divide a decimal by a decimal, right? So you can see we have a few examples up here. So let's start with this first one on the left. So here we have 0 0.24 divided by 0 0.08. Okay, this is kind of like a two-step process, okay? So the first step is gonna be rewriting your decimal problem like this. Okay, so you can see we have 0 0.24 divided by 0 0.08, okay? So that's your first step. Second step is turning your divisor into a whole number. So in case you forgot, this is your divisor right here, okay, the, the second number up here. Or if you write it like this, it would be your number out here. Okay, so we have to turn that into a whole number. How do you do that? Well, all you have to do is take your decimal and just move it to the end. Okay, but keep track of how many place values you move. Okay, so we're gonna move one, two times. Okay, so now it's at the end right here. Okay, so since we moved the decimal, instead of having 0 0.08, we would have just eight. Okay, now the key is, if we're moving the decimal here two times, we also have to come to our other number here and move that decimal two times. Okay, so we'll take our decimal and move it two times. So one, two and then our decimal would be right there, okay? So instead of 0 0.24, we would just have 24, all right? So now these are the new numbers we're gonna be working with, that we're gonna be dividing. So you might even be able to do this problem in your head. So 24 divided by eight. Now, does eight fit into two? No. Does it fit into 24? Yes. How many times? Three times, right? Then three times eight is 24, you subtract, and you have a zero remainder. Okay, so our answer right here is just three, right? So then the original problem, 0 0.24 divided by 0 0.08, your answer would also be just three. All right, so hopefully that wasn't too confusing, so let's just do a couple more examples, and then I think it's gonna start making a lot more sense. So here we have 3.03 .03 divided by 1.5. So again, your first step is just gonna be rewriting it like this. So here, now we have 3.03 .03 divided by 1.5, okay? And then the second step, again, is just turning your divisor, so this number out here, into a whole number. And you do that by simply moving the decimal to the end. So we're gonna take our decimal, and we're gonna move it to the end, to right there, okay? How many times did we move? Just one, right? So we're gonna come to our number in here also, and we're gonna take the decimal and also move one time. So from here to right there, okay? So 1.5 turns into 15, right? And then 3.03 .03 turns into 30.3, right? Because we moved the decimal just one time over. Okay, so now these are the new numbers we're gonna be working with. They don't look as bad as these up here. Okay, so does 15 go into three? No. Does it go into 30? Yes. How many times? Two times. And then two times 15 is 30, right? So we'll subtract these numbers right here. So 30 minus 30 is just zero, and then we'll bring down the three. Now, how many times does 15 fit into three? Well, zero times, right? And then zero times 15, it's gonna be zero, and then we'll subtract these right here. So then three minus zero is just three, and then we don't have any more numbers out here, so we'll just write a zero right there and bring it down to right there, right? Now, 15 goes into 30 how many times? Two times. And then two times 15 is 30. We'll subtract 30 minus 30, and we get a zero remainder, right? Okay, so we're almost done. The last part is, and don't forget it because it's very important, putting your decimal in your answer. Okay, so our answer is right here, right? 202, where does the decimal go? Well, you just go to the number underneath it right here. The decimal's right there, right? So all you do is move it straight up to right there. Okay, so just make sure you keep all the numbers aligned so you can also keep your decimal aligned. Okay, so our answer right here is 2.02. .02. All right, so the original problem, 3.03 .03 divided by 1.5 would be equal to 2.02. .02. All right, let's just do one more example. Okay, so let's start with our first step. 
and that is simply rewriting your problem like this. Okay, so we have 5.4 divided by 0 0.006. Now, second step is taking your number out here, right, your divisor, and turning it into a whole number. And you do that by just simply moving the decimal to the end. Okay, so let's do that. So we're gonna move it one, two, three times. Okay, so our decimal goes right there. So instead of having 0 0.006, this is simply gonna be six. And since we moved the decimal three times, right, we also have to move this decimal three times. Okay, so we'll take the decimal, move it one, two, three, and then your decimal would go right there, okay? But if you notice something, we don't have any numbers right here, right? So whenever you extend the decimal past your number like this, all you have to do is put some zeros right there to fill in the blanks, basically. Okay, so instead of having 5.4, we took this decimal and moved it three times, right? So this is gonna turn into 5,400. And then our decimal is right there, right? It's at the end right there. Okay, so now these are the new numbers we're working with, okay? So let's divide six into 5,400. So six doesn't go into five, but it does go into 54, how many times? Exactly nine times, right? and then nine times six is 54, so you'd subtract, and you'd have no remainder, okay? So now let's just move on to the zeros. Now, a little shortcut way of dividing into zeros, just saying, okay, six goes into zero, zero times, right? And six goes into this zero, zero times also, okay? So 5,400 divided by six would just be equal to 900. So going back to the original problem, it's equal to 900, all right? That would be your answer. All right, guys, so that's how you divide a decimal by a decimal. I hope the video was helpful. If it was, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you still have any questions or want to see any other examples, let me know in the comments section below, and I'll do my best to try and help you out. Also, there's a playlist attached at the end of the video, so if there's any other topics you need help with, definitely check that out, and I'll see you there.